Y'all are leaving a lot of money on the table by being afraid to jump into ads. And I understand you're afraid of that beginning phase. You're afraid of that unsure. I don't know what's going to happen. Is this going to work? Is this not going to work? But if you're just kind of jumping in it without a plan, without a strategy, without the expertise, that's why you're missing out. And so if you're thinking about running ads yourself, you're thinking about hiring a freelancer, there are three things that you really need to have in place in order to be successful when you're running ads. And so in order to be successful when running your ads, one, you need the right ad strategy. And let me tell you, that ad strategy is not Googleable. It's not just Google hacks. You need something that is really specific for your business because there's so many things you can do with Facebook ads, but you want to make sure that you're focusing on the right things. And you're focusing on the things that are actually going to move your needle versus the things that, you know, are popular, right? I don't care about popular. I care about getting you results. So the second thing that you need to be able to run your ads in-house is you need the right systems. You need the right systems for building, testing, iterating, and optimizing your ads on an ongoing basis. And then you need to have the support in place. You need to have someone, whether it's yourself, whether it's someone on your team, whether you hire a freelancer that can dedicate an hour or two a week to being able to look at your ads and pull numbers, make some changes, make some optimizations, increase budgets where they need to, and other kinds of things that I list out on checklists that I provide for my clients.